the fractional translation widget. As you can see on the screen, we have three containers, but the orange and the red one is not the actual location where they came from. Because we use the fractional translation, we are able to move widget to different location. Let me show you by using an example. We will use a column widget. Inside we have the children container with the color blue gray, and this is how it looked like. Now we will use a fractional translation widget. Inside we will use the translation to offset one minus one, and the child will be a container orange accent. You can see that even though we use a column widget, the widget is actually on the side of the first one. And this is because we use the translation. We move the widget one on the side and then minus one, which will go on the top. We can use another example by using another fractional translation. This one will have the same offset and the child will be a container red accent. But this time the widget is under the orange container. This is because the third widget is actually located in this location. So when we move one and minus one, this is the final location of the widget. And this is how you can use the fractional translation widget with your Flutter app.